Oh, what do you have? Muk. Muk. Oh, big. Welcome to a new video from Koh Bolon in Thailand, by far one of the most beautiful and unspoiled islands I've ever visited. There are no big parties, no speedboats going back to the mainland and electricity is available only for few hours per day. This episode I will show you the untouched nature of Koh Bolon and the best seafood I've ever had which we bought directly from the local fishermen. This looks so rural. Yeah. It's my first time here in Koh Bolon and it was a one hour boat drive from Koh Lipe. This is amazing. Just local people here, no bikes, no cars. It's a very small island and it's one of the last hidden paradise in Thailand. Come here, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the map from Koh Bolon. It's actually a very small island. It's same like Koh Lipe, I think. And now we are here and we try to explore the whole island in one day. So this is the beach area already. Kobolon is a tiny island located in the Satun province in the Adaman Sea and rated as one of the most amazing islands in Thailand. Undoubtedly, this island is really far away from mass tourism. It is the most perfect spot for couples, families and backpackers looking for an ultimate dream island experience. Kobolon is an excellent travel tip and with its snow white dream beach is certainly one of the most special places in Thailand. So there are actually some bikes on the island, but not that much because here is a gasoline station. So raw. Like local village, chicken everywhere. <laughs> so we are trying to find a way to Mango Bay. Are you scared? Yeah. I read about they have very big pit, pit viper snakes here and also the big monitor lizard. Yeah. But uh, also some hornbills. Maybe we can see some in the morning or in the sunset time. So on Kobolon you only have electricity from 6 p.m. to 2 a.m. in the morning. And they shut it down in the daytime. So almost all resorts they only have electricity in the evening and no aircon, just only fan. This is Mango Bay. It's the fishing village here in Kobolon. And actually we want to eat some fresh fish here but they told us everything is closed already now at this time. And you know when they open again? Not really, huh? No, sorry. Mm, because there are a lot of fishing cages, you see? It's insane, so big. Muk. <laughs> All of these cages are made for catching the squid but they went out or they go out in the night time so it's a lot it's a very big fishing village fishing community here in Kobolon They are not actually living here permanently okay. they come here for fishing uh -huh. and working and, and then sell it uh -huh, uh -huh. Every two or three weeks they will go back to Pakwara Pier. Ah, there okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is temporary cottage. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All of the fishermen here, they will look for seafood like crab uh -huh. and squid. Sell it on the... Is there. No, for that guy, only him. Ah, and he sell it on yeah, the resort and somewhere. Yeah, he will take home every fisherman uh -huh. here and they will like allocate and selling to all the hotels. Yeah. So he's, he's going out yeah. for fishing. Fishing. Mm -hmm. oh, it's okay. Whatever we did, ditch builder he is a guy. I'm not sure where he, where he is or he's local or not. He will buy every fish, every seafood, fish, crabs very from cheap. these fishermen in very reasonable price. Mm. I don't want to say cheap. And then he will selling it like allocate to different resort, different mm -hmm. bungalow. Mango Bay in Kobolon is definitely a place you should visit. Also, if you're not a seafood lover. The fishermen told us about the community here and as you hear they have really hard work. Living in temporary houses directly at the beach for almost two weeks only for fishing to make money and then going back to the mainland for two or three days to support the family. I have a lot of respect for these guys and will always support local people as much as I can. Crap. 
نومك We just bought some squid and crab directly fresh from the fishing village here and uh, the squid was like 300 baht for kilogram the crab was a uh, only 100 <laughs> 100 per kilogram so the seafoods that we brought to the kitchen here at our resort uh, just got served so what we ordered was like um steamed it's so huge everything and swiss fit vessels i mean it's called pot -pot 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 so Bam. Good, very good, good seafood, come to Kobolon guys. <laughs> the next day we woke up early to watch the sunrise at School Beach, the most beautiful beach on the island, with white soft sand and crystal clear water. At high tide it offers also some great snorkeling spots, and if you're lucky you can see black tip reef sharks. Spare fishing? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> so this is the bakery shop here in Kobolon. It's called Su Corner Homemade Cakes, Food and Drinks. So let's check this place out. Oh they have a lot of cat. Wow, they have a lot of cat baby. One, two, three. You didn't see them. Saudi cap. <laughs> oh, so cute. How is the baguette, baby? Is it good? It's yummy. Yummy? Mm -hmm. Someone also thinks it's yummy and they're waiting here. <laughs> <laughs> she said now it's like getting in low season. She don't make so much anymore. Okay, okay. Okay. But she will have um, เค้กอย่างเงี้ยอาทิตย์เนี่ยหกสิบแล้วคุณต้องบอกสิบแล้วเหรอคะไม่เหมือนคนจะหกสิบเลยจริงๆอ่ะขอบคุณครับขอบค
a lot of cacao powder. I can see chocolate too. Mm -hmm. Wow. Sadikap. We're looking for the bungalow up there. Hello. So we changed the bungalow now because this one is just 500 baht and look actually same, nice. It's a little bit dark because we don't have electric in the daytime. But it's okay. There we are. How do you like the bungalow? So this is Panka Bay. It's not the best beach for swimming or something because there's also the mangrove forest and a lot of rocks here on the end of the beach. Actually the whole beach is only like coral and shell, huh? Here on the end there's not they much sand. Can sell this one. Like one kg. They sell it like 300. Really? Mm. You should or bring the boat. Than. Here's the mangrove forest and here it's going up to the mountain. The highest point on Kobolon is just 170 meter. And there's also a hike we do later. But for now, let's check out this area, how far I can go here. So it's still low tide for the next two hours, but then the high tide will come very fast. And wow, I never saw a rock like this. They have a very nice shape. And there's the next beach. Actually, you can walk around the island, but as I said, you have to be careful with the water because when the water came back, you can call the fishermen to pick you up with the boat. Panka Bay is on the north side of the island and rich of nature. It's not the best beach for swimming, but amazing for exploring. The left side of Panka Bay is covered by rocks and at low tide you can walk far outside and explore the whole area. We are back at Panka Noi Beach to finding the hornbill bird. I saw some before, but not that much and we ordered some food we have some fried fish fresh this spicy cooked. sauce and here we have some uh, coconut curry or what is it coconut uh, shrimp coconut curry with shrimp yes mm -hmm. look very delicious let's try it So I've been here already for half hour at 6.30 and I am walking out on the mangrove now and maybe find some other animals in the pools here, in the tight pools. Oh, what do you have? Muk! Muk! Oh, big! Big muk! <laughs> Hello, am I? <laughs> so this is our last day here in Kobulon and we try to go to the viewpoint. It's just 170 meter over sea level, but the hike is a little bit tricky. So there are actually two ways, one in the jungle and one near Mango Bay. And there are also some dangerous animals, like a leech or something they told you. So we wear a long pen. And uh, we try that we not get bitten by this crazy animal. It's high tide, so we can't go, maybe. There's another way in the jungle near the coconut bar, the destroyed one. You want to try this trail? Maybe. I'm wondering why the resort have to restake the town to use electric city, you know, from 6 in the evening to 2 in the morning. So she said uh, because they don't have the electric city, they actually have the generator. She's been living here for 30 years already. Oh wow. She came here since there was nothing yet. <laughs> <laughs> no road. It was, it was the whole island with a rich of nature. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was standing back then, she said. This is the story about the sea gypsy people. They are actually from Indonesia. But they came to this island long time ago and settled down here like on many places in Thailand. I also know about uh, Kopani in Panga Bay. 
It's also like a sea chip sea village and they are also from Indonesia. So from here the nature trail is starting and we are not sure how far we can walk. They also told us that not many people go there for many months or years. So let's try it. Huh? Let's see if we get bitten from something. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. But you have the right shoes and me. Mm-hmm. Better. We went like five minutes or ten minutes in the jungle and the way is uh, blocked. Seems like really nobody walk here and uh, it's very difficult to find the right way. So better we don't do the trail and get some drinks on the beach. They have soda there. Yeah. What is this? Is soda or siren? They have lychee, peach and this is... Uh, blue Hawaii. I want blue Hawaii. Right, squid. My favorite meal. Teddy. It's making you very strong, like, you know what I mean. Look fresh. Let's put some lime over it. Wow. It's perfect. So we are going to the auntie. We've been yesterday. Because the food was very delicious and uh, now it's low tide. open safe today we order two different things first one is called to meat curry it's actually malaysian curry the order is with squid another one is the fish with chili sauce we are leaving kobulon now and the next destination is krabi maybe you will miss kobulon or not i will yeah yeah i want to come back for diving because somebody do. Cut. After a few days in this paradise, it was hard to leave. There are not many islands left like Kobolon. If you visit this place, you feel directly back in time, like Thailand 40 years ago. We're back in Pakbara Pier and we are on the way to Krabi now, finding our minibus. <laughs> So if you like this video, please subscribe, like and hit the bell that you don't miss out a new adventure on my YouTube channel.